Alrighty, well, good morning everybody. Uh, time once again for my pseudo cast. And um, today, uh, we're going to be walking in Rome, Italy. And yeah, we're virtual walking tour around the city. Um, and also, I'm going to have me, uh, I'm drinking a can of uh, B8 Energy, orange pineapple flavored. My God, I actually remember to say it at the start of the cast this time, not somewhere in the middle. Okay, but otherwise, I I don't really have a whole I don't really have a whole lot. I didn't really do a whole lot last night. Um, just uh, I watched uh, I watched the uh, third episode of Dragon Ball, and once again, this show really skirts the line between rated PG and rated R. God damn it! Okay, well if it's if it's just this, I guess it's okay. Just telling you what it is. I was going to say, they better not have made that into a damn watermark. I'd have been pissed. <laughs> oh, selfie stick. But yeah, like I was saying, um, watch the third episode of Dragon Ball, and uh, yeah, once again, uh, there's a lot of gray area in this one. There's a, there's a few rather naughty moments in there. Seems um, seems the uh, the main female character, I think her name's Bulma. She's a bit of a slut, it seems. Or right, as as far as uh, I mean, as far as a kid's anime show goes, I mean, no, she wasn't a. Uh, she wasn't actually boinking any guys in there or anything like that, but she was pretty close. Pretty close. So. Pretty, yeah, but pretty interesting stuff. Uh, still playing, uh, but, uh, playing, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter, so still playing that. Oh, and, uh, I also tried doing, uh, I tried doing a commentary video on one of the game reviews, but... It came out all kinds of wrong. Just I forgot to I forgot to turn the sound down, cause uh, when not uh when not recording stuff, I often have the sound up full blast. Just uh I have an AC going at the same time, so I have to. The stuff I listen to has to be louder than the noisy AC. So. But yeah, I forgot. But again, I forgot about halfway through. I just realized then that uh, I forgot to turn the sound down. So, the the review comes in super loud, and not to mention I was pretty much having it hawing through at least half of it. So I ended up having to scrap the video. So, good waste of thirty plus minutes right there. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention, and I forgot to also, I forgot to mention at the start of the cast. I don't know how long I'm going to keep saying this, but uh, for those that have seen my previous cast, I'm definitely going to be repeating myself here. Um, recently, one of my one of my cast videos was copyright claimed, so I had to delete it immediately. Because I don't, I'm not going to mess around trying to appeal it or anything like that. It's just not worth the time. And plus, uh, and plus even then, the guys that, uh, the people that actually do the uh, copyright claiming, The people that actually do the copyright claiming is not YouTube themselves. It's um, it's the people that you've offended. And uh, I believe uh, when you appeal a claim, the ones you're going to be dealing with are the ones that actually filed the claim. I think uh, the, the uh, YouTuber Emperor Lemon, he was complaining about the same thing too. It's uh, so you get a claim, you get a claim on your video, and you try to appeal it. The ones you're trying to appeal appeal it to. Is the ones that filed the claim to begin with, like no, the no, the final arbiter should be YouTube, not I mean not the claim filer. So yeah, that's kind of bullshitty right there. I mean, YouTube should have the final say. But yeah, that, so yeah, but going back to what I said a few moments ago, it's really not worth the time to try to appeal a claim. And um. Oftentimes, with the, especially with the cast videos I'm doing, 
it's pretty much going to be all the footage on that on that video that's going to get claimed anyway. So, so um, what I was, what I was trying to say is uh, if any, if you like any of these casts enough to where you want to see it more than once, then I highly recommend you find a way to download it. Then download it or uh, record it with uh with uh, video capture software like uh, OBS or Streamlabs but Streamlabs there there's a lot of bells and whistles on that one so I'd probably steer clear of that but you know you kind of get the idea though just use a uh, video capture software to record to record these but yeah because because who knows how many more of these are being copyright claimed and even then another thing that's ticking me off about these is uh they're not getting flagged until after I've uploaded them, or not up, uh, not immediate, not immediately after I upload. It. They're they're not being uh, flagged until days after I'm uh, I posted them up. That kind of pisses me off. You know, I'd rather you know why didn't you know why didn't they why did why didn't they claim it right when I uploaded it? I mean, I I believe that's what the uh, processing portion of the upload is for to you know do like copyright checks and stuff but no not but no this time around it decides to wait till several days after I upload it fuckers but, uh, but anyway just but again I might I might continue to say this. I don't know, but you know, when, when um, when the the cast that I'm posting up these days don't have any music on them at all, but still getting claimed anyway, uh, I I kind of feel a need to put the warning out, because yeah. Uh, yeah. Hello. Uh. So this guy must have this guy must have his camera like out there, like literally holding it out in front of him. Yeah, that's not yeah that's not creepy at all. Guy over there must be selling handbags. Changing scenes way too often too. Restaurante wine bar. But yeah, like, but yeah, what I'll, basically what I was trying, basically what I was trying to say on that commentary video about the review for uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, um, it's a, uh, it's what it's definitely a simple to learn but hard to master game. Uh, it was I kind of I kind of equated it with uh with the way uh, World of Warcraft and other MMOs work um like so like the class there's like this um uh, there's this axis between complexity complexity and awareness like if you uh, if you have a class that's not very complex at all real easy to play um it makes up for that by uh, requiring you to be aware because those uh, easy to play classes are often uh, capable of healing and team support, that kind of thing. So you have to, uh, you might not have to push very many buttons, but you have to be aware of what, of, uh, of your team members and, um, you know, what kind of problems they're having. And if so, you might have to jump in and help them, that kind of thing. So you got to have good awareness. Then you have on the other side of the spectrum, you have uh, classes that are very complex to play. Like you're practically playing a piano, but on the upside, they're all their they're all they're all selfish. Like none of their abilities are based on team support, so that just frees you up to concentrate on your uh, on your planer planer class. So 
I, I kind of see uh, Dragon Ball Fighters as the same thing. Um, in and of itself, the game isn't that complex, but uh, it's also a team-based game where you also have uh, you have uh, two other players that you have to fiddle with as well. It's uh, generally it's a three-on-three -three fighting game, so you basically have to be in three different places at once. Or let me let me rephrase that: you have to. You won't just be playing one player at a time. You'll be swapping them in and out. So there's that awareness factor. So yeah, but that that's basically what I was trying to say on that commentary video. But it's it's still my favorite though. Um, second second only to Footsies. Footsies is still my all-time favorite 2D fighter. But um, but as I said at the start of this cast, I didn't really do a whole lot, so I this time around I don't really have a whole lot to say. So I don't instead of trying to force the issue, trying to force me to say talk about something else for four minutes to get to my 15 minute cutoff, I'll just go ahead and just cut it off here then. So, um, but thanks for but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again for dropping by, everybody. See you all next time.